Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this final video in this series, I'm going to look at a way to secure our contact form to add some additional data to the contact form that we can either hide from the user or show in a read-only fashion. And we're going to tidy up our controller action and look at a possible alternative implementation. So we'll start off by jumping into security.yaml and at the bottom here, I'm going to add a new key called access control under which I'm going to have two different paths the first of which is going to be anything that matches anything starting with a slash. In other words, all routes in our application. And for this, you're going to need the role of role user. Now, remember, we already know that when logging in, our member gets the role of role user. And by way of the role hierarchy, our role admin also has the role user along with role admin. So this should be fine, but it is going to introduce a problem in our application, as we'll see in one sec. So we're already logged in as EEE -E -E, and if we refresh, that's all good. We log out and now we go into a loop. The reason being that we can no longer hit any route inside our application without being at least role user. And when we're logged out, we don't have role user. Now we hit the slash logout link and that went fine. And because it tried to then redirect us to the slash, which requires us to have role user, it's then sent us on to slash login. But unfortunately, because slash login also starts with a slash, that also expects you to have the role user. So that's why we're in the infinite loop, because it just goes round in that circle until it times out. OK, so that's fine. We can easily fix that by duplicating this rule and being more specific at the top. So this is the final rule that matches everything. The rules that come before it match first. So we're saying anything starting with a slash and then directly matching login. So you put the dollar at the end there. It's a regular expression. I will link to more on the show notes. You don't really need to know too much about them, thankfully, to start working with the system. And then we can say at this point, slash login is accessible to anyone who is, is authenticated anonymously. And this is somewhat of a peculiar concept, but because we have the anonymous key set on our main firewall and our main firewall matches also the pattern of slash, we can get access to be authenticated anonymously, which is pretty much equivalent to just been logged out. So now if we go back, we should be able to hit slash login, but literally any other route will redirect us to slash login. And so we would probably also want to add the register route there also, and you could either do it like that. So we have two entries or again, because it's a regular expression, we could have login or register and that should also work too. And that looks good. And you can see down the bottom here, we are authenticated anonymously.